Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Power Platform TV. Today, we're going to talk more Omni Channel. We're going to talk about how to set up operating hours for an Omni Channel chat. Okay, so this is really important when you are when you have a chat on your website, which is the example that we've gone through a few times here. You'll want to make sure that your customers understand that the if the chat does not have any available agents to help them, then it's going to display a message that makes sense to the customer, right? So we don't want customers to click on a chat widget and have them wait for a long time when there's no agents available. So instead, what we want to do is we want to put a message there that says, hey, we're not available right now. Please come back tomorrow at a different time, for example, okay? So let's look at how we can set that up. So first of all, we're going to scroll down here and we're going to find operating hours. And it's here under settings in the Omnichannel admin app. And let's go ahead and create a new operating hour, okay? So we're gonna give this a name. Uh, let's call this uh, weekdays. And the description here is gonna be weekdays. And let's go ahead and save this, okay? And it says here that this is a preview feature and you agree to the uh, preview terms, okay? So let's just keep that in mind. So now let's head over to working hours. And this is gonna give us a list of our working hours and we can see that we have a recurring working hour set up here I'm just gonna click on this and we'll take a look at it so it says here that uh, this is part of a series I can click edit I can edit this event I can edit events in the series I'm just gonna click edit this event and let's just go take a look so we have here that the working hours are between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Uh, for today okay so let's just say that the working hours of uh, for today are a little bit different and we're gonna do uh, let's say we're working the night shift today and so I'm just gonna put this to a later time it says here start time cannot be later or equal to the end time so we'll just change the end time first here I'm gonna make this 11:30 uh, p.m. and let's make this uh, let's say let's say if I keep going down we're gonna make it 9 p.m. okay so I'm going to go click save here. So this is outside of the current time and this is going to be the time specifically for now. Okay. So we have these working hours uh, set up as an operating hour and now we need to apply this to our chat widget. Okay. So let's go up to our chat widget and click on chat and we'll be able to apply this record. Okay. So here's our chat widget and on our chat widget, we're going to click onto the design tab. And then here we have the operating hours, okay? So we're gonna select weekdays and we can see here it says offline by enabling this feature. You acknowledge that this feature is in preview. Show widget during offline hours. And we have the ability to hide and show the widget during these hours. Let's just keep that off for now. And we're going to click save here. And let's go and try it out. And back over on the chat widget page, we can see here that the chat widget is actually no longer showing, right? So we would expect it to see in the bottom right, but it's not showing at all now because we have that setting to basically not show it during uh, offline hours. Okay, so now let's go ahead and switch this here to on. So it says show widget during our offline hours, and we do wanna show the widget, okay? So we have these different theme colors here that's available for the uh, what we'll call the offline widget. And we have here all the same colors as over here, basically, okay? So we're gonna, we're gonna go with black. Black's an appropriate color for the offline. We're going to do uh, title is we're offline and subtitle is no agents available. So if we wanted to, we could customize that and put something else in there. So let's go ahead and save this and then we will go and see what this looks like on the chat widget. Okay, so we're on the chat widget now and we can see here on the bottom right, the chat widget, and we have, it's now showing us a uh, black icon and we can see here it says we're offline and no available, no agents are available. So that's the offline chat that it's showing here. And if a, if a customer were to click on this, we can see here that they get this message. Thanks for, for contacting us. You have reached us outside of our operating hours, an agent will respond when we open. So that's the uh, operating hours message that gets displayed. And I do wanna point out something that's a little bit confusing that may help some of you. 
if we go back to the chat widget here and we click on automated messages, we will see here that there is the, the holiday message here and the out of operating hour message. So if I double click to open up the uh, out of operating hour message, this is the one here that gets displayed in the chat. So something that's a little confusing is if you go down here, you'll see the in the settings here, there is also automated messages. And then if we, so this is showing all the automated messages and we can filter here by the channel. So I'm just gonna filter here by equal to live chat because that's the one that we're doing. I'm gonna hit apply here and let's filter by the language as well. Uh, if I scroll down, this is the language that we have set and I'm gonna click apply. And then if we go down, we'll find our message and we see here the out of operating hours message. And if I just open this one. So this one is actually uh, a different one to what's being applied to the chat. Um, so it's not, so if you come in here and you change it from this side, you won't see the change reflected because you need to go back to where it's applied in this case in our chat. And if we go back over to automated messages, it's this one here that you'll want to change. Okay. That's all I have today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks. So that's it guys. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course, check out my blog at carldesouza.com. Thank you.